I want to talk about how to go from point slope to slope intercept to general form. So this is a little bit of uh, algebra we get to do. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm, I want a line that goes through these two points. And I'm going to write it in point slope, then I'm going to manipulate it into slope intercept, then I'm going to manipulate that into general form. So remember point slope form is uh, y minus the y part equals the slope times x minus the x part. Slope intercept form is y equals slope times x plus the intercept. And general is ax plus by equals c. All right. So we're going to need the slope. No matter what, no way around it. Slope is change in y over change in x. So the change in y here, 8 up to 14 is 6. Change in x, 1 up to 3 is 2. Uh, 6 over 2 is 3. Okay, good. So we've got the slope. I'm just going to grab ooh, this first point. y minus the y part equals the slope times x minus the x part. Okay, so here it is in point slope form, right? Now I'm going to manipulate this to get into slope intercept form. So the first thing uh, that I'm going to do with it is distribute that 3 into there. So I've still got y minus 8. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And we're almost there. We want to get y alone, so I'm going to add 8 to both sides. And I get y equals 3x plus 5. Great, I'm in slope-intercept form. Now I'm going to manipulate this into general form. And remember, general form is ax plus by plus c. x and y are on the same side, and a, b, and c are all um, integers. Like, they don't have a fractional piece. So on this one, I just need to move this 3x over. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And I end up with negative 3x plus y equals 5. And there it is in general form. Great. All right, let's, well, let's do the same thing with this one. So I'm going to need a slope. Change in y is 6. Change in x, uh, 3 up to 12 is 9. Uh, so 6 over 9 is what, 2 thirds? Okay, my slope is 2 thirds. So point slope, I'll just grab this first point. y minus the y part equals the slope times x minus the x part. That's point slope form right there. Okay, now get it into slope intercept form. I'm going to manipulate this a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is distribute that two thirds. Two thirds x minus two thirds times three is two. So I'm there. I want to get y alone for slope intercept form, so I'm going to add 4 to both sides. And I get this beautiful looking thing 2 thirds x plus 2. Great, there's my slope intercept form. And now, general form, I got to get x and y on the same side and make sure I don't have any fractions to deal with. So, first thing I notice I have this 2 thirds x, I'm going to subtract it from both sides. That gets me x and y on, on the same side. If I do that, I end up with uh, negative 2 thirds x plus y equals 2. And now this next part, I've got this fraction that I don't want. And so the way that I'm going to get rid of that fraction is by multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator. Notice the denominator is 3. So I'm going to multiply this side by 3. Multiply that side by 3. Right, I can do the same thing to both sides, which keeps... Uh, the sides equal to each other. It keeps it in the same relationship. So negative 2 thirds times 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that's negative 2x. 3 times y is 3y. 2 times 3 is 6. And there's the general form, and I've gotten all three. So again, I can write it in point slope, distribute that slope, get the y over, get it in a slope intercept, get that x over, Get rid of fractions if I have to, then I have it 
in that general form. 